Hello, welcome pen friends. My name is Chris and I'm back with another pen video. And today I want to talk about creativity. I really want to talk about this beautiful uh, pen sleeve that I got from Rickshaw Bags. And, uh, and also talk about creativity and how much that these kind of projects that I've been making and that I see coming from other creative people just really really enhances my life and and everything so I've ordered from them a couple of times I, I'm sure you guys remember that I have a pen roll and some pen sleeves from there but this was just a really nice surprise they just they gave me this pen sleeve and it is uh, a collaboration it's a it's the Inktopus from the from Ink Journal and this is a magnet that came with one of my uh, ink flights from Ink Journal. That's a, the monthly subscription box that I get with uh, seven ink samples and pen goodies. And now they've um, they've gone into uh, with each other, you know, to make this. And it's it's just such a beautiful design. It's the Inky Octopus, you know, the Inktopus they call it. And uh, this is the medium pen sleeve that they sent me. And right now I have in it my Genhow X750, one of my very very favorite pens. And um, inked up in there is the Montegrappa Violet. So I just thought, I mean, this is one of my favorite pens, and I had it in there. So I wanted to show you how well that fits. And inside these, um, I, you know, some of you may not be familiar, but it's got this just really soft, like a little blanket kind of material, like you'd uh, you'd get to to watch TV or whatever, you know, in the middle of the winter or whatever. It's nice and soft and totally cushy for your pens and this is like a lavender interior I'm hoping you could see the color because I got a little bit of a yeah there we go nice and soft and it's gonna take care of your pens real good so um, this is available now on both websites I noticed this morning this is where available at rickshaw bags and on ink journals website but even more exciting than that and is that they have made uh, the uh, pen roll with this design it's just gorgeous and you can find that on the ink journal website it the pen roll holds eight pens and it's uh, gonna be my christmas present my my husband is gonna keep it from me though i think till christmas so that's exciting that's really exciting because i just love it it's creative the colors are really really interesting and vibrant to me so I wanted to show you and also talk a little bit more about some of the other things I've gotten from them because they're one of my three favorite places to shop. One is Goulet Pans, and then there's Ink Journal, and then there's Rickshaw. And they're all like all my favorites. I don't put them like in order or anything. <laughs> Just beautiful things that they have. And I, I want to say thank you for sending me this. This is awesome. And it gives me a chance to show all of uh, the people who uh, do subscribe that uh, you know about these more but I'm sure you guys remember from the past I showed you some other things but I've got a couple of things that I don't uh, there's one there's two things I know I haven't shown yet that was from a Valentine order that I had gotten so um, that that my husband got for me so let's see here these are and these are the stickers some of the stickers they sent and uh, I've gotten the ones before the one I really like um, the the pen is mightier than the sword. I like them for the front of these notebooks and things like that. And this is one of my gratitude journals. So I'm going to just move a couple of things. But I just think that's really, really pretty. And the fact that it's so useful for the pens um, is just amazing. I'm going to just move everything out of the way here. And then we've got a couple of crystals to talk about. Because they tie into creativity too. But I don't think I've shown this one before. And this is the um, trio, the three pen sleeve that I got from there, from Rickshaw Bags. And I love it. And what I'm doing specifically with this is, I put in my, um, the ones with the stub nib and the broad that I use for uh, writing my pen pal letters, I keep this right on my little desk. And if you saw my video, my desk is small, so... I don't necessarily have a lot of room on that little letter writing desk, and this is perfect. So I've got my Lamy in here, and uh, it's got a 1.1 a millimeter stub, and then I've got another Gen Hao in here, which is a, uh, got a, let's see, I'll have to check. I think it's the 1. Point, that's a 1.1 too. I've got a 1.5, but I don't think I have that one inked up. And then I've got a broad nib on this other Lamy, and that is. Uh, 
the Lamy Safari and, and the Dark Lilac. So that's, uh, those are my letter writing pens. And I love keeping them in here. And uh, it's just a beautiful material. And uh, just sits there and doesn't roll off, no matter even if one of my cats jumps up. <laughs> so then this is another thing that I had gotten from there back in, I think it was February. It is called the Sweet Pea AirPod Mini Lanyard Pouch. And it, it has this uh, drawstring. And I guess people put their ear pods or their air pods for their but I keep coins in it I'm a coin collector and right now I've got a couple of uh, half dollars and some Susan B Anthony dollars that I just collect and I, I just love it but this comes in many colors and I couldn't decide it comes in so many pretty vibrant colors that I finally decided to get the black because I knew that I, that I would love it and later on maybe I'll be able to get some other colors but they're just gorgeous and well made strong beautiful material so um, let's see and then the other two which I've shown before but I think it's worth showing again now this this is this the Valentine sleeve that I'd gotten and it's the same material as this one and they're both medium these are the medium pen sleeves and this isn't something I know a lot about but what I understand is that this is the 420D nylon on the outside. So you do feel a difference. These are real, um, uh, I want to not want to say slippery. Um, you'd have to feel it. It's, it's nylon-y, like, like a, an L.L. Bean backpack kind of thing. And um, not canvassy. Um, and then this one's a little different. This is the long one, so it's a little bit longer. And I got this specifically to hold the Jim Hines pen that I got because it, it won't fit in the other one. It, it would stick out. And I wanted to kind of coordinate a little so I you're able to customize when you order there. And I got the like a little uh, teal colored insert material for it with the with the little tag um, kind of matching, which I just love being able to do that kind of thing. And this one here I think was $12. So um, and then I think these are 15 but I'll, I'll make links so that you can see, especially this, because this is their new one. Um, but I've bought all the other things with my own money, and of course, they didn't ask me to do a video. I just am excited about this. They sent me this one, and, and I'm just super excited about it. And then you've all seen my pen roll, but I'll just for those who haven't, if maybe this is your first time on my channel, welcome for one thing. But <laughs> um, And this is my Hemingway uh, six pen roll. Um, that I have all my mini pens, and then I have my Pilot Vanishing Point. I seem to write with this one at the same time as I use these others. So that's why um, that one's in there. And you can get customized sizes. I just like this as standard, so I can, you know, change my mind, do whatever I want with it. But I've got the little ones. They go right in there. And I can just, these are my Moon Man mini pens. And the Stipula uh, Passaporto. And my little mini, um, Twisby mini. So I write with these all the time, and I like having them in the same place, in the Caveco Sport. So this has been really wonderful, but I'm excited for my Christmas present. <laughs> Christmas in July, except that I don't get it till December. Um, the one that's going to have this design will have the eight slots for the pens. So, of course, that's exciting. <laughs> and it hasn't really been a great week. I was sick and everything. So, <laughs> the, to have this come and have a little revival in my interest and things, and, <laughs> you know, and then start feeling better, that's really cool. But... What I've been doing and why I wanted to talk about creativity, I challenged myself for July that I would make something every day. So sometimes it's going to be something kind of low-key like um, the, the little pen sleeves that I make and the little pouches that I make, which I like to have on hand because there's always an occasion to either give one away or use one or... Or um, there are a couple people who have also wanted them and purchased them from me in the past. But these are the smaller projects. And then, I've, as you know, I've moved on to making some things that are, you know, related to the Traveler's Notebooks. And these are two that I made this week. And sometimes the interior is completely made by me. But this time, uh, I had a little Write in the Rain book that I put in here. Um, this came with... Um, pocket pens I think and then this one I made from an old Christmas card and I had to use a sticker to cover something 
but I liked how it landed just right for that cardinal to be on the back. And then this paper is Office Depot um, laser paper, which is real friendly for fountain pens. So this this is unknown. The inserts may not stay the same because I've got a, a, a little project that I may do with this one. And I didn't do any embellishments, but I used a really nice little... Uh, the little eyelets that kind of are rustic looking and I, I ended up being liking that and then this is a little purple one I made that at first I was going to call it a reject because I did it wrong I I did my second uh, I don't know I did some funny stitching but anyway <laughs> it it's you know it still uh, counts and I put the Canada passport book in there and another one that I had made from an old greeting card and this was cute too because this one here I put sketch paper that was in a pad that I wasn't really using anymore but I think I will in this format and it happened to fall just right to say celebrate with everyone you know in the back so I think I yeah I stapled this one because that paper was really rugged so I probably should have stapled it the other way but I wasn't sure whether this would insert would be used separately or in a in a traveler's notebook so then I got I thought well I'm gonna start learning how to make charms but I didn't have much on hand and so I used a, a fishing swivel and a couple of little things that I had. This came, this is a love is a seed uh, piece that came with a necklace I bought a couple years ago and then this came from Walmart, it's just a little anchor. But I, I got really interested and I started watching some videos and there's another way to do this um, using some different real simple materials. and. What I'm going to do is take apart some jewelry that I don't use and make some more little charms. I don't think they'll go real good with the with the camouflage, but there's always something else creative that could come to mind for that. And so then the other thing was the, the inserts often start as old folders. This was a folder. And this, this is how it came. It was a art type, you know, decoration. So this is how it starts. And then I either sew in the inserts or I um, staple them usually. Um, haven't really figured out too many other ways to do that. But that's what that's what my challenge has been and so far most days I make more than two items a day. I can make three pouches in the evening when I'm just unwinding so <laughs> that's kind of fun. And uh, I just thought I'd show you because that's that's what this has spurred in me is just you know what the desire to be creative and to uh, and to continue to think of ideas and, and make things, even during this long, hot, hot summer. So then I got a couple of uh, things to talk about with the uh, with the crystals that I chose because I feel like they're so creative. So I think I covered everything as far as I just really wanted to show you, um, you know, what had come. This this beautiful pen sleeve is just really awesome and I'm, I'm so grateful I, th I thank them so much it was so spontaneous I heard from them on Instagram and then you know they verified my address and sent it to me so there we have it and I chose two crystals today that really do connect with creativity um, this one here is the orange calcite and it talks about confidence on here but Every single one of the the other um, entries I've found talk about creativity. And then this one here is the carnelian. And this talks about uh, being grounded, secure, be, being creative and determined and successful. Well, you know, I'm kind of rebuilding what, what I do with my life right now. So um, that's really pertinent, I think. Let's see what we got. This one is... Uh, Crystals for Beginners by Karen Fraser, and I don't get into this much on uh, my channel, but this is my favorite book for having both pictures and uh, written materials about the crystals. So here it says, Carnelian helps you set appropriate boundaries, have integrity, and be creative, and that's this one. And it just has such a lovely color. It, you know what, it, initially it was that sticker that had the... Uh, I think it was actually that the stick San Francisco sticker I don't know where I put it now <laughs> it just had the the colors and I thought oh my gosh that just spurred me on to to look at these two crystals again so that was the that one and then in here this is the crystal Bi Bible by Judy Hall that is where she talks about the carnel uh, the uh, 
no, that's carnelian. I'm not, I'm wanting to do calcite. Yeah, because this is calcite. Orange calcite, that's the one I wanted to talk about. It starts over on, I think it started somewhere else. But it goes on and it covers many different types. But then it comes and specifically says that orange calcite is a highly energizing and cleansing stone. Especially for the lower chakras. Orange calcite balances the emotions, removes fear, and overcomes depression. It dissolves problems and maximizes potential. This stone heals the reproductive system, gallbladder, and intestinal disorders. Oh dear, no wonder I got that this week because I did have, I had a little sickness, which is very rare for me to be sick at all. But I was, and now I'm better, so <laughs> I guess I needed to have that in my pocket the whole time, but... Anyway, better and still creating and really spurred on when I see something colorful and creative like this. Actually, uh, it's hard for me to go on their website because everything's so tempting. So that's a little disclaimer there, warning, you know, like alert, alert. If you're, uh, if you're kind of on an allowance, you might want to wait till you're ready <laughs> because it's hard when I start seeing things on Instagram too. But uh, there seems to always be a way if there's a will, so... <laughs> It was really neat to, to get that and to find out, too, that uh, about the pen roll because something colorful like that is wonderful. So, I hope this has been useful to you or inspired your creativity in some way. Um, I have, I can't tell you how, how much fun it's been to make these little, uh, these are passport size. And uh, it, it seems like I'm just doing something now that I really enjoy. And that... You know, that's important. There's there's a lot of work and there's a lot of other things that may not always be um, <laughs> what I would pick to do, but isn't that life, you know? It's, and if we don't forget about doing the creative things, if we make time for creativity, I think it's really important. So it's fun. I've got this little tiny uh, kit that I found. That It's weird. It doesn't look like something I... I didn't need the little tool, but down in the bottom it has... Things that I've never worked with before. These little, I guess they're called head pins. I wrote it down because I really don't, I really don't know much yet. But uh, it's got all these little, actually it says right here, lobster claw clasps, which is going to be a little bit better, I think, than probably than the, uh, the swivels. Although those swivels are what I used when I made keychains. And that was really, those are always fun. So, there's no limit to what you can find to, to help you, um, you know, continue to be creative. And I hope that, that you uh, got something from this, and I just appreciate you being here. And have a great weekend. Bye for now.